won't be too obvious. Okay. So you want me to come yeah, over this way? Yeah, just come over here. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here we right, are. okay. Now, right now, right now, I am with. Uh, <laughs> right now, I'm with. What's your name? Jennifer. I'm with Jennifer here on uh, Yates Street here in Victoria, and I'm going to show her the signature trick as to why I'm called the Underwear Magician. For you YouTubers at home, ordinary scar, uh, ordinary handkerchief, completely free, as you can see this, right? Yes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bundle it up into a ball here, and I'm going to focus my mind, and I'm going to wave it right by your pants. Lo and behold, when I pull it out, your panties completely come off. Oh, no. See for yourself, you're hot, the panties oh, no. of Jennifer's pants are now completely clear. <laughs> Trick. There you go. How did I do? So cool. Wait till you see this. Man. Okay. You've seen David. Um, you might want to move your. TV. You might want to move back a little bit, just yep. so this way we can get your face sure. in the camera. Just a little bit, a little bit there. Yep. Okay. Hi, YouTubers. I'm uh, now here with Dwayne. Is it? Dwight. Dwight. Sorry, I have a bad memory of names. That's cool. Okay. I, I do psychic stuff, but I don't have a bad memory of names. Anyway, I'm here now with Dwight. Um, he is a panhandler here in Victoria. Um, you've seen the other side of the, um, you, you've seen what it's like on uh, more of a way of living here. Absolutely. And I have um, the sales associate here from the uh, from one of the local stores. Um, do you want to pop on the camera and say hi or no? Okay, so I shall see, see this here. Okay, but anyway, uh, now what I'm going to do is to show a classic example of, uh, of a way to live off the money you get even when you can't afford to buy food. Here's now what you do, you bite through the loony. I tip the toot, but it's worth it. And <laughs> That's so cool, man. Just so I do that closer to the camera, so this way you can see. Ordinary loony. See, up close, ordinary loony. What's up, man? That's so cool, man. He does all kinds of stuff, man. And just so you know, I pull, I bite, because you probably wanted to see the loony. It is an ordinary loony. I'm bending it. It's not doing anything. I only buy, I only do it when I try. And now, I'll even give it to the Give a panhandler money to take it away. Yeah, no, no, sorry. <laughs> no, but yeah, you, you know, I mean, like he he deals with this sort of stuff all the time. Um, just as a little aside, um, what's it actually like? Uh, what uh, what is what is the uh, how how are you treated as a panhandler in Victoria? Like, what is the what is, what sort of uh, reactions do you get from people? Just uh, this way, people outside. The I'd have to say thirty percent of them ignore me completely, like I'm invisible. The other maybe thirty percent, forty percent of them will actually say hi but not give anything. And uh, I'd have to say one third of the people are quite generous and offer me more money. Okay, so we've got an even third, an even third, okay, sorry. an even third ignore, an even third will say hi but not give anything, and an even third will give. Okay, so that basically means people, for, for those of you out there, at least in Victoria, and Victoria is still watching this, one third of you are charitable, the other two thirds of you are are penny pinching Scrooges. So just so you get this idea, you really need to loosen up a little bit and show some compassion. Okay, for the rest of you out there, I hope that the other towns are not quite as bad as that. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> that was awesome, man. You were so cool. You were just there. Okay. Hi, I'm here at the lovely local old time village from originally from a time when uh, criminals used to be uh, hoisted by their own rope figure. The question is in my case, will I be hoisted by my own rope or will my own rope be hoisted by me? I hope that was fun for you, old timers. Is I have here an envelope with three parts, three standard USB symbols the red circle, the blue waves, and the yellow star. I'm now going to hold them out here, and I'm going to give you this pen to be able and point to one of them. I should mention that before you point to one, uh, which one, I will know which one you point to, and I'll show you how after this. Go right ahead. Which one? The which one the pattern. Okay, the middle one. Would you take a look and please read the back of the card? Would you please read it out loud for the, uh, the camera? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to riffle through the deck and I want you to tell me when to stop. Okay, memorize that top card for me. Okay, let's put view it for the camera as well. Got it? Okay, good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to shuffle the cards here. And it shouldn't take me too long to find it. Just give me a sec here. Now, look into my eyes, look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Got it? I should be able to pick up your psychic wave. Is this your card? This was her card, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Magic. And now for a brief comical interlude, watch me open the store with the power of my mind. Of course, it opens by itself. I'm making video clips. Comical junk. Hey everybody, well I figure it's about time I at least reveal one trick to you, otherwise
mind to guess your number. For the most of you, it's probably going to be 37, 37. And if it's not that, then probably a little few of you don't think that's going to be either 35 or 39. This is a statistical trick because I've reduced the odds to 1 in 8, and then statistically speaking, most people pick 37. At least that's what I was told on another cover magician special. So let's go to the streets and just find out how many people pick 37. I'd like you to think of an odd number between 1 and 50. Use e uh, sorry, use odd numbers for both digits, but use different numbers. Yeah. Have you got one in mind? Okay, you're 37, you're 35, and you're 39. Okay. I was 37. You were the 37. I was 39. I was 33. Okay, you were the 33. The preceding was just a sample clip. It should be mentioned that a total sample space of eight people was taken. Eight proper trials, nine if you count that, disc that discarded one where the person said 33 and not, did not follow the instructions. Out of the total, four people picked 37, three picked 39, and one picked 31. So, calculator translation, that translates to 50% who picked 37. The second most picked is uh, 39, uh, at, let's see, three out of eight is, is 37%. And the remaining, and the remaining 12% pick 31. So just remember, just a heads up. So that's yeah, four, three, one. Yeah. So just basically, at least with the numbers so far. Note that that was a fairly small sample space. Had I been able to get a larger sample space for this sample, you guys would have known. So still, basically speaking, statistically speaking, 37 is the most picked number. So budding magicians wanting to do this trick always pick 37, and 39 is the second most. Okay, we're here with Dave now at the Sane Internet Cafe, and we're going to show you the ultimate computer uh, magic trick. What uh, you need to do, have you, you've opened the calculator in your accessories program, correct? I have, yes. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the webcam over here, and I'm going to show that my head is turned facing this way, so that you can see the back of my head. Okay. So now I'm turning the webcam over here. I'm not even looking at the computer. Okay. You can see that the computer is turned backwards, facing away from me. Now what I need you to do is think of a number between 1 and 699. Okay. Type it into the calculator and divide it by 7. Okay. Okay. Divide yeah. by 7. seven. Yes. Okay. Okay, now what I need you to do is take the first six digits to the right of the decimal place and okay. then add them together as a sum. Yes, so write them down on a piece of paper and add them together as a sum. I've turned the, ca I've turned the camera away. Um, of course, it'll be a little bit, um, I'll have it looking at the paper, but I'm not looking. Again, notice my head is turned away, so it'll be on the paper um, somewhere there. I can't even tell where it is. Hopefully I've got okay. It. Okay, have you done that? I have. Now I'm going to try to raise, raise your mind and get the final sum from you. Now remember, I did not see your original number. You there's no mathematical trickery I could have used to get this. Haven't been looking at all? Okay, nope. 27, am I right? Oh, yeah, that's right, that time. Yeah, and there you go. So let's get this really up close. And as you can see, it's 27. Wow. See? See, people? This is what you can do when you actually have somebody else working with their calculator and the fact that there is no math that there is no trickery I could have used to get it. I have a tamper with their calculator on their computer or the ca calculator that they happen to have handy. So, proof again that magic really does work.